Hello everyone, I'm Natasha and today I'm doing books to pick my makeup challenge. In today's video, I'm working with Ipsy. If you guys have never heard of Ipsy, they have these little like subscription sample bags that send out makeup for you guys to try. And it, it's, they've been around for a very long time. They've gotten very popular on YouTube. I'm now a part of their glow team. So I'm very, very excited. They're actually sponsoring this video today. So I'll be opening up this little bag. This is the social butterfly bag. It's getting us ready for the springtime. For my new challenge that I've made up, I've taken inspiration from Nikki Tutorials and her like Google picks my makeup video. I'm actually gonna go hunting for a book. I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble. I'm gonna try to find a book which colors match the products that are in this little bag. Basically, we're just gonna go book shopping and then I'm gonna see if I can like recreate a look. Let's see what I have in here. So first we have this little loose eyeshadow. This is from the brand Meech and Mia. It's in copper. Next I have a finishing cream. I've already opened this. This is a nail polish from Pretty Woman and it's in like this purpley color. So yeah, I get my nails done. So we're just, we're gonna paint over them. You know, it's, we're, it's, I'm doing this for an Instagram. Do it for the gram. I have another eyeshadow, which is from Sahi. This is a cream metallic foil eyeshadow. So I'm seeing lots of bronzes. Then they also gave me two lip products. And one's in like a peachy coral color and one's in like a pink color. If I get up real close to you, let's see what these actually look like. This is like the mauve color and it's kind of like a lip stain. Peachy color. So I'm thinking maybe like the top lip could be the peach color and bottom lip could be this color. This is the color of the loose shadow. And then this is the color of the cream shadow. So one's a little bit more gold. They're about the same. Let's try to find some book covers that's gonna match this. We're getting in the car. Look, I have a magnet so you guys can stick. Hopefully, maybe not, damn it. Here are the swatches. I even painted two of my nails so I know. We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. Do I have my phone? Okay, Google, direct me to the closest Barnes and Noble. All right, Barnes and Noble. Let's go. Let's go. Don't you all just miss borders? I used to have a borders that was 10 minutes away from me. Now I have to drive 20 minutes to get to the nearest Barnes and Noble. Uh, I need coffee. Down to the beat, I'm strolling. Ba -ba -ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh. Whoa, you moved. Oh, you're moving again. Oh my brother. Oh my gosh. Change of plans. My brother's here. And now we're going. Open the door. I was in my car just minding my own business and then it's like, I wanna come. No, I did not say that. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, ready. Wait, what was that one thing? this one. Wait, it's still just no bronze on it though. Scythe. That's a good book. I own that. <laughs> yes, Twilight. I feel like it needs to be like a brighter. Like I want to do like a brighter book. Hey, that kind of works. The Summer After You and Me. This was Book Explosion's book of the month like a couple months ago. Do you think this could work? Rain, the earth. So the red kind of works with the coral and then they got the purple. You've kind of got some bronzy things. There, there's just not a lot of bronze. Ooh, let me. See. Oh, oh, it's Lee Bardugo. Alex picked out the last of the Grisha trilogy. Oh, these are really cool. Yeah, they redid them. They look really cool. This looks like a Slytherin. This looks like Baratheon. Oh, Alex, you see the book in front of you? Oh! <laughs> Seen it! Actually, maybe I should do the bells. I do own it though. <laughs> what? That could work too. Voice rolls. I think I'm gonna go with that rain book. I feel like that's the book to go with. There's a different versions of fangirl I can do. <laughs> wow, taking out the whole thing. There's no bronze, it's just pink. Okay, actually that kind of works. Kind of works. What about the new ember in the ash? No, there's no purple. Mm, 13 rising, a zodiac. Mm, that's Romina Russell's book. <laughs> looks like a really cool book, but the cover's so off-putting. 
I hate it when they do that. There's no bronze. Why aren't there any bronzes in any of these books? What about renegades? I don't have this one. Mm, nope. All we can do is wait. There's no bronze. I'm having difficulties. This Royce Rolls one, because if you've got like the, this color matches that one perfectly. And we've got the gold, and then there's some purple. I think I'm gonna get this. And I'm also gonna get this. Bronze. Okay, I'm back from the bookstore, got some Taco Bell, got some Starbucks, and we're gonna go into the makeup process right now. As you guys saw, I did pick up Rain the Earth by A.C. Coggin. I also got Royce Rolls by Margaret Stahl. And then last, I did get Grimm's Fairy Tales. I don't own this, and I really wanted it, and I really liked the gold and silver holographic shimmer on it. I feel like Margaret Stahl's book could be really fun. The lettering is gold, so it matches the bronze eyeshadow, but it doesn't have any purple in it. Rain the Earth has orange and purple and yellow and I feel like this could be really really fun. I'm gonna go with this because the colors are fun and the purple matches the nail polish really really well. So because Rain the Earth has a lot of oranges I'm gonna use one of my Morphe palettes. This has a lot more burgundy shades in it and some orangey shades. This is the Morphe 35F. I also have this IBY Beauty City Limits palette that I got from Gen Beauty and this actually has a lot of the colors that are on the book cover. Let's start with replenishing my skin because I washed my face a while ago. <laughs> this is the Sue Replenishing Cucumber Mist. You guys can sign up for the Ipsy Glam Bag. It's a monthly subscription. I'll leave it down below if you want to try it out. We're going to start with one of the samples in the Ipsy Bag. This is Knott's Once Finishing Cream. This is a primer with mint green tint to help cover and reduce redness and even out the skin texture. It also has SPF 30 in it. So this is going to bind moisture to your skin and it's going to help with skin elasticity. Always want to start your makeup with a primer. Some people don't use primer. If you don't want to buy it, then that's fine but if you get stuff like this there's no use not using it Ooh, oh it's really liquidy and it's green oh this is definitely going to like reduce the redness oh it smells really good and wow my face just got way more white women have redness around their nose so this is good for that area too hmm it actually absorbed into my skin really really well i'm still gonna use my spotlight illuminating primer from physician's formula i also got this at ipsy gem beauty and it's been like my favorite thing because it looks like a disco ball like i look like a disco ball when I use it. I like to put this around my eyes. Okay, let's put that down the neck so that my neck looks like a disco ball. Okay, we are going to use some foundation. So the foundation I'm going to use today is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. So we're going to like skip ahead through these steps because it's boring. <laughs> So instead of using my finger, I'm now using a new brush because I got a new brush from Gen Beauty. I do like going over it with the Beauty Blender once again just because it does make it look really nice. And we're gonna set, 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 set. So I have been using the NYX Mineral Powder. I really do like this because it's super light. It's really, really fine so it doesn't give you like that cakey look. And then I switch to a bigger brush. We're gonna kind of pack that in. I have heard not to use powder on your cheeks, but I feel like when I don't do that, my contour doesn't set in very, very well. Um, and so I can't blend it. Ooh, I made a big fat mess. <sighs> I'm doing this rather quickly. Eyebrows are done. Let's go into contouring. This is the Koki Contour Palette. I got this at Generation Beauty and I really like it. I really just like this mirror. It's great and it's super lightweight. Yes. I just feel I look weird without this contour. This whole area then would just be like a white blank space. Mm -hmm. I've already showed you the two eyeshadows I got from the Ipsy Glam Bag. I have the Meech and Mia Loose Eyeshadow. It comes in the color Copper. This is not tested on animals. It's a loose powder with high pigment and there will be no fallout, which is great. Then we have the Sahi Foiled Eyeshadow in Doha. This is a cream metallic 
foil eyeshadow. It has metallic crushed pearls, which leave like a really cool effect. This is buildable. You can wear it really light or you can wear it really intense. I think I'm going to make it really intense. And this is also infused with Jojo Boy oil, so it makes it really hydrating as well, which is great because I have really, really, really dry skin around my eyes. Before we use those eyeshadows, I think I'm going to do a more of a reddish look to match the book reference. Because it has like this orange around the sides of it, like I kind of want to do a halo eye. It doesn't necessarily look great on my eye shape because I have really, really small eyes. I'm going to try it though. We'll see how it looks. I'll probably use the foil eyeshadow underneath right here. Oh, I forgot to put primer on my eyes. Okay, this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. With a halo eye, you want the darker colors on the outside and the inside of your eye. I'm very skeptical about this. For this, I'm going to try to use as much matte eyeshadows on the outer and inner. So I have this Luxie Beauty eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to use the IBY Beauty palette in City Limits. I'm going to use their color playlist. It's kind of like a peachy color. Actually, I'm going to use Glamping because that's more of a brown color, and I feel like that's got a little bit more safe. So I'm going to start on outside first. This is where I'm comfortable. Okay, I think I'm going to elongate this as much as I can because I like it when my eyes are really, really dramatic. Then I want to bring this up to right under your brow bone, right where you can feel the bone where your eye sits in. And then I'm going to take this in the corner right here and also bring it up. But you don't want to connect the colors. You just want to make sure that the middle part is going to be void of any really dark colors. That's kind of cool. I always thought this was like sacrilege to put darker colors in the middle of your eye. Like it, it's going to show the shape and how small your eye is, but I feel like if I add eyelashes, it's going to look like cool. We'll see. I've never done it before. I actually really like this brush. This brush gives me a ton of control. Oh, it's so much fun having new makeup to play with. This eye is not as good as the other eye. We're going to zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so we're still working with the glamping color and I'm working on my other eye. And it's okay if you get it like right there in the corner because you're going to be able to hide that with highlight later on. This looks cool. I like this. I think I need more orangey colors now. So we're going to use this Moda brush, which is clean. We're going to go in with an orange color. We're just going to keep blending. I'm going to go like right on the edge. Whoops. So we're going to blend this out a little bit. We're gonna use the Burgundy Bar palette from Maybelline. More of a brown. There's a City Limits color that I really like called Drop Base right here. Let's put this in the middle, in the outer corner. Ooh, I really like this. Oh, I really like this palette. I'm gonna add more of that color on the outside because it looks cool. Yes. How are we liking this look so far? It looks a little weird, but it's okay. I feel like it's coming together. I feel like I still need more like bright orange. I guess the orange is gonna be like the the bronze, so I, I feel like I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're gonna use this color right here. And I think I'm gonna bring this drop base underneath just halfway. Cause then I'm gonna use the foiled eyeshadow on the other half. Okay. Wow. <laughs> So I've got this really intense gold color that I think I'm going to use just to see what this does. I'm going to swipe over the whole thing now. Now let's go and use the Ipsy products now. And then I'm going to use kind of like a flat brush. Not clean. And we're going to wet it. By wetting the brush, you'll be able to use it with more impact. I'm going to put it right here in the middle and see what this does. Okay. See, with the halo eye, you really want it to look like the colors are surrounding. So you want all of, like, the glitter right there in front. It's going to need to be blended. I'm going to use a loose eyeshadow again for underneath here. Because I feel like it's probably going to... Ooh, yeah. I like that. I'm going to put it in the corner, too, just a little bit. And now for the foiled eyeshadow from Sai. This is like a packed eyeshadow, so it works best with you, your finger. I'm gonna rub it in and we're gonna go woo woo woo. Bring on the glitter. Oh yes. Glitter, 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 glitter. I really like this. I like all the chunky glitter in this. I'm gonna go back in and blend with glamping. I'm gonna use Nightfall from the City Limits palette. Oh yeah, I think I like it better. So I have these two NYX liners. One is red, and this is the Strictly Vinyl collection, and then I just have the regular NYX liner, which someone was asking me in my last video what it is, and it is the Matte Liquid Liner NYX Eyeliner. 
that's what it is. So I'm wondering if I can like double up black first and then the red on top. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this red looks like. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. Should I go under? Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna do more of it because it doesn't really match. We're gonna use the Big T's Buxom Plumping Mascara. I need the Lily Lashes from Jan Beauty. These mamas. They're really intense. I'm not a big fan of intense lashes, but we're just, we're gonna try Look it. at these. Should I put these on? Are these just gonna ruin my look? <laughs> mistake, mistake, mistake. No, <laughs> hell no. We're gonna use the Eyler Volume Lashes instead now. All right, let's bring some color back into my face after all that fun stuff with the stupid eyelashes. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna use this L'Oreal Bronzer, the Balm. This is a blush palette, and I think I'm gonna use the Balm Springs color. Probably bring it up here. There. Hey, yes, yes, so much better. This Better Highlighter from Physician Formula is so good. It is, it's so nice. You just apply it with your fingers and it literally, it just feels like butter. Okay, it's it's a bit of a pinky sheen. Okay, I'm gonna put that on my nose. Every single time I do it, I just think it looks so cute. Okay, we're also gonna put it right here. Now we're going in with the two lip products. So we are, we're gonna do one lip a different color and one lip another color. This is the Aurora 24 hour lip stain. This one is in salmon and this one is in soft pink. This delivers a matte finish with long lasting formula and it's not gonna transfer. It's like a marker. These are really cool. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. So this is Bella Pierre in nude. I'm gonna put the darker one up on top. Oh, this is fun. Ooh. That's cool. Okay, now we're going in with the soft pink. That's interesting. We're gonna put a lip gloss over it because I'm not really liking the unevenness of it. This is a Loritzi lip gloss in Aura. It has like an iridescent shimmer on it. It's very sheer. Ooh, that actually looks really good with it. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. That looks really good. All right, we are done with the makeup. I'm gonna go paint my nails and then I'll show you what everything looks like. This is Pretty Woman Nail Polish in the color Girl Boss and it's like a nice pretty nude. It's long lasting and it dries really fast. It's also tin free, cruelty free, and vegan. Finished up my nails, changed my outfit. Got like this cool top thing that I think kind of matches the girl on the cover here. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know, it was kind of a mess and then the eyelashes happened and everything else. <laughs> makeup book hunting challenge video if you guys want to try it yourself I challenge you I'm gonna challenge my friends Hannah from a clockwork reader Christine from Plum Bananas books Catherine Caddy Tastic and Sasha from a book utopia guys 
do this, please. Let's make it a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ipsy, for sponsoring this video once again and for taking on a booktuber into their Ipsy Glow membership. If you guys like this and want to see more, please let me know. I always love marrying my two passions, which is beauty and books and just being a fangirl. That's about it. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'm Tashopolis. And if you want to see like my Instagrams with this outfit, go look at it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Natasha. I'll see you all in a new video soon. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!